what is up everyone and uh, it's me again and uh, today I'm actually gonna be teaching you guys how to build a train and of course this train it's not gonna be a diesel with a steam locomotive they're only really hard especially cleaning and trolling bogies so this train it's a basic train and before you build of course you need to let make it so that your train can actually spawn on the rails like the rail and the rails are like over here where my mouse are the rails from where can i remember it's about seven to nine blocks wide anyways let's get on with the video so first to make it so that you tra your train is actually spawning on rails you must go to this gear thing it's the setting choose the spawn part and choose rails and now as you can see a like see-through transparent lucid rail has come and of course before i start teaching you guys how to build i'm gonna show you like how would i say that it's an example of it of course this is just gonna be like of course the train that you are going to build it isn't as advanced as this especially the head nose part because this part is actually sort of hard so I'm gonna teach you just like how to build like a box on wheels part so that like the extension part it's onto the left of the both blocks blocks here that I place but what but actually the thing that we're going to do is we're just gonna make the giant box on wheels and let you guys see first how the train runs and stuff so you can know what you are expecting anyways you need also need some thrusters wheel anyways it runs like this very smoothly as you can see right here and this locomotive is based on the out farm AHK or maybe ALS anyways let me just load up a new slot real quick load so let's get on with the building what you are gonna do is place a total of five blocks right here one two three four five on the sixth block you also need to place and delete the rest this is gonna be like the mark where your wheel is gonna be and Go back two blocks on this third block, place it right here, delete this, delete this. Up about two to three blocks, place, delete two of them, place one, two, one, two, and then place one, two, three, four, five on the sixth, on the fifth block actually. Place two of them, then one, two, three, four, five, two, four, Two blocks. One, two. Next, you're gonna place motors. This is of course gonna be the like most basic version of it. So it's like the very basics. You need to know how to build a train. You know, a thing that is on rails and gets you around before you can actually start building. You know, big stuff. So cylinders for wheels. You can actually change the material to fabric if you want for more grip. This. Uh, let me just code the motor real quick. So right side is S and W. Paste it all the way. Left side is W and S. Control C. Paste. Paste. Now of course if you are gonna build a train like this, it of course it isn't enough. Well, because there's nothing locked it is into like the rails. And once the corner comes, it would just you know it would have followed the rails itself. But something like this would happen. Let me show you. I need a main pilot seat. I forgot. Main pilot seat. So it's gonna happen. Look, you go forward. The foot. I didn't set the speed yet. Finish. Doing it. Let me just quickly set the speed real quick. Now look, the 
Can we go on the normal rails? Those are okay. Can go straight good and look what you see we already railed. Because there aren't any pegs at like the at like the wheels, so it wouldn't stay on the rails. So what you are gonna do is take a motor, rotate it and to like the skinny part there are pretty downwards. Place it on right here, 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 here. Next, take cylinders, cylinder 3x3, three three, rotate it. Let's, it is like horizontally. Make sure it's in the middle of the motor or else it wouldn't work. Now, this I always remember right side WS, so WS. Set speed 25, that's around middle, you can actually make it faster or slower if you want. Place both to both on the right side, place right here, change the control swap it as W. Then right here, paste it in. Now look, it wouldn't be real anymore, especially at these corners. You can see it stays on the rails because of these peg wheel things. It will be railing, so this is good. Now we're gonna repeat this, the same thing, but at the rear. I'll need to also test it on the sharp, the sharp corners, or else it wouldn't pass the test. I won't pass the test. I'll just change the rails. Go, 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 go. Good. Go forward. And it works perfectly. Of course, when you are going to build it, it's gonna be high. Like the center of mass, it's gonna be like up high, like right somewhere, like I don't know, right here. And it would, and it would make the train tip over much easier. So that's why you need thrusters. And what you're gonna do is with the main pallet seat and repeat the same thing on the other side. Right, so I just finished everything. So we have two separate sets of wheels. Now this, the set, each one is gonna be called a bogey. So this is a front bogey. This one is a rear bogey. Now to connect them, you need to actually place motors as like a free floating bearing. If you don't do that, well, the train just wouldn't turn with real like immediately. When, like your train enters a quarter so settings into this you see this power like category you untick it so it's a black blo block turn it black basically next you are gonna connect two of them place a block on both of them I recommend using beams place it down place it Place it and then another yeah, block should do. Next, the main pilot seat. Place it down the center. And of course, the bogies. There are actually two types of bogies. They have the normal bogies, the simpler one, the basic one, which is the one that I am using. There's also the advanced one, which I'm gonna show you guys later. And basically, the advanced ones, they make tackling hills much easier for an engine. So instead of like, you know, when in a hill, this would actually move up and down like angles. You need to, guys actually need to see it, how they work. Let me just change tracks real quick. Go, go, go. And you can actually use this layout for anything you want. You can reduce the wheels so it's like a bobo wheel layout which is like total like one bogey has like total four wheels you can use a one co co one which is like four wheels or you can actually use this chassis for like a coach just reduce the number of wheels and put like the box on it with windows everything works and this is just gonna be like the most basic of trade. 
what you're gonna do is place blocks up until this block right here. Then you actually need like wait, one, two, three. Three, three, three should be. And like this, you like the blocks. You must place it until like three blocks from the border of the plot. Do the same thing for the other side. The reason I need like space so that you guys can actually modify this into any type of locomotive. But this is actually perfect for modifying to the Alice Swap AHK. So that's why I leave three blocks. One, two, three. Lift it up. Right here. Connect it. Connect both of them. So now it's a big long platform. What you are gonna do is I recommend you leave like the inside hollow so that the train wheel doesn't hit. Then you put it like this. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, no. Like here and about the advanced bogies, you just put like another wait, let me just rotate. You just put like another motor here and like delete these two blocks like onto the side and then connect this to like somewhere that's on the locomotive that's a, that that's a move. So yeah, yeah I need to show you it you guys can actually get for that on this. And then one, two, three, four. Should be wide enough, yes, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, and then you need wet a house block beam. Of course, as you can see, like the hitbox of it, it looks like it's a full block and might just like hit the wheel and it's only for aesthetic purposes. But actually, the hitbox, like when you place it down the mastery of the deck, spot it, the wheels just run smoothly. Anyway, you put like three of them down. Again, one, two, three. And then over here to one, two, three. Everything is aligned, so I yeah. So next, you need half blocks. One, two, three. Need to place three of them. One, two, three. One, two, three. And next, you need a beam one times seven to connect both of them. And this one, two, one, two, and everything works smoothly. You need to also test it first. Good, everything works very smoothly. The bogies work. Okay, the train turns perfectly. Okay, this is good. This is good. Now, next, what you are gonna do. Let me jump on. Is anywhere that there's like a full block, you need to fill that area in for like right here. See, you need to fill it in. And next, you do the same thing for over here. And now on the other side. Good. Now see this is like the basic chassis. So I guess this is it for part 1 of my train building diesel locomotive series. Of course you can use this chassis for like anything you want to build on it. Let me just take this real quick. I don't know, train tutorial. 
save yes and this chassis I actually use it for a number of diesel locomotives like right here load might be our class 40 of course like the paint thing it isn't thought of for first it doesn't look the best because I'm not the best but see it basically uses the same thing the motors are in the f like and the front like the most front wheels on the front bogey same thing for the rear pegs thing they are at the real like the most rear wheels at the front bogey same thing for rear bogey too this is my class 40 of course the end finished product it's gonna look like this beautiful right of course this doesn't actually sort of use the same chassis but I changed the position of the wheel because this was like the first ever creation. And as I told you, the nose, like the head, it isn't gonna be slanted like this. This is gonna be like more like a bonus at the end. But the yeah, next part, it's just gonna be teaching you how to build like this big box. And this is what it's gonna run. It's gonna run like this. The reason why the cow catchers are so small. Boundary, you, you need to add like motor so it folds in and stuff, but that is too advanced for me. The out is a bit simple. Oh god, the rear derails, but, anyways, see you guys in part two.